Okay, that's a bit dramatic. In fact, some gyms are beginning to reopen again, and thankfully, I've been pretty satisfied with my gym-free workouts these past few months. Between exercising at the park, jumping rope, and learning one-arm push-ups, I'm quite happy with the progress I've been able to make. So I wanna see if I can continue this progress, this time with a focus on core strength and abs definition. Again, without access to a gym or workout equipment. A few years ago, I tried a similar challenge, though it was back in the olden days when going to a fitness center was easy, and I thought filming these videos with a cell phone was a great idea. Oh gosh, it looks so bad. Anyway, I'm in better shape now than I was at the start of that challenge, so I'm only gonna give myself 30 days to see how much I can improve core definition and strength, starting right now. So the first ab workout I'm gonna be doing is going to be five circuits, 50 seconds for each exercise. I'm gonna do this circuit four times and take one break in the middle. First exercise is gonna be the dead bug. I do 50 seconds on the dead bug, followed by leg kicks with my arms and shoulders off the ground. Then side to side, targeting my obliques, followed by 50 seconds of reverse crunches, kicking my feet out at the end of each rep and closing my circuit with the bicycle. Oh. That's one circuit down, three to go. When my circuits are over, I wrap up using the abs wheel and doing some side planks to finish up. On off days, I do supplementary workouts that still engage my core. For squats, I'm using a dumbbell, but it can also be done carrying a crate or a stack of books to provide resistance. For the first week, I repeated this routine every second day with some small adjustments to which exercise I include and didn't include for a total of three workouts. And I try to be diligent at the end, stretching my core and lower back so I'm preventing any strain or injury. I've also realized I didn't add a strength component to this challenge on day one, so I'm gonna try measuring my progress learning the L-sit. When I tried this exercise earlier today, I could barely keep my feet off the ground, let alone extend them to 90 degrees. I'm not even sure if I'll master this one by the end of the month, but it seems like a really good measuring stick. As for my fat burning and cardio work, I've been having trouble with a hamstring strain that's made me hesitant to take on too much running or skipping this week. So I'm getting limited cardio workouts through one hour walks I try and get in each morning, and I've made an appointment for physio, so hopefully I'm cleared for more activity by next week. With my exercise routine locked in for the first two weeks, the last thing I need to take care of still is my diet. And for that, I wanna talk about the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens has been a consistent part of my morning routine since before this challenge, and I'm gonna continue using it over the course of my training. Athletic Greens is a comprehensive all-in-one greens powder to optimize your nutrition intake, giving you 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced in greens with each serving. If you've ever tried to build muscle, then you already know how important a consistent diet of fruits and vegetables is to ensure your body has the nutrition it needs for proper muscle recovery and strength development, which is when these gains actually take place. One scoop of Athletic Greens has the antioxidant equivalent of 12 servings of fruits and vegetables, as well as providing important micronutrients that may not be present in a traditional carb-heavy and protein-heavy diet. For me personally, I like to drink Athletic Greens first thing in the morning, so I know I'm starting my day hydrated, feeding my body essential probiotics to take care of my energy levels and foster a healthy immune system. I'm really excited to have Athletic Greens as a sponsor of this video because it's a product Cam and I use consistently as part of our diet. And if you use the Goal Guys link below, you'll get a free supply of their vitamin D3 K2 liquid dropper as well. Over 40% of adults in the US have a vitamin D deficiency, the symptoms of which include fatigue and muscle weakness. So I think this is a great addition that you get completely free with your purchase. Again, go to our link below for a free vitamin D liquid dropper with your purchase of Athletic Greens. Take your training to the next level with Athletic Greens and ensure your body is getting the nutrition it needs to train harder and recover faster. Now I wanna talk about what the rest of my diet looks like for the remainder of this challenge. Because muscle growth takes at least three to four weeks before you start seeing any change in size, I don't wanna start eating at a caloric deficit too early in this challenge because it will inevitably lead to me losing muscle despite all of my workouts. Instead, my goal is just to strike a balanced calorie consumption with high protein, carbs, and veggies. Then in the final week of this challenge, I'll cut my diet to a caloric deficit 
to see if I can burn a little bit of belly fat before my final photos. Also, my right hamstring is feeling better again, so I'm able to get back to doing more demanding cardio, which is really encouraging. While I haven't seen any visual results yet, I am noticing some fast improvement with my strength. Not only am I able to complete my ab circuit all the way through, but I've seen major improvement in my L-sit exercises in just 10 days. I've worked on this by doing L-sits with just one leg off the ground and holding that for 50 seconds. Then switching to my other leg, 50 seconds. Even just holding my butt off the ground with both feet touching provides core engagement as well. And recently I invited Cam over to do an ab circuit with me. He's been doing full body workouts for 11 weeks now and regularly kicks my butt at running. So the fact that he was really struggling with my abs workout, not gonna lie, felt really good. Bro, I'm literally right here. <laughs> With these early improvements in strength, I decided to adjust the last two weeks of my routine. So I'm doing more demanding abs exercises three days a week and using my rest days to concentrate on my obliques. Yeah, so not a perfect L-sit after 30 days of abs work and about 25 days training with that goal in mind. I do perform a bit better at this exercise when I'm working with my push-up grips, almost holding myself at a proper 90 degrees, but there's definitely still room to improve. As for my before and after photos, I dropped three pounds in the final week and have a much clearer definition in my upper abdominals. I'm still holding some fat over my lower abs, which is not too surprising given the fact that my focus this month wasn't on fat loss as much as it was muscle growth and strength. My next challenge is going to be another cardio intensive goal. So I'm hoping if I can keep these workouts consistent through that, I'll continue to see improvement and eventually work my way towards more challenging and demanding ab and core related training. I don't think being without a gym really limited my training too much with this goal. I mostly just had to wake up early if I wanted to get in hanging leg races at the park or a local playground. I realized in editing this, I said no workout equipment and between the abs wheel and my push-up grips, I was probably using about $45 worth of workout equipment. So that mistake's on me. If you have other home workout challenges you'd like us to try, please let us know in the comments. And I don't normally do this, but YouTube hasn't really been recommending our videos to any non-subscribers lately. So if you could like, comment, or share, that would be really appreciated. And as always, thank you for watching. I feel like I should have a catchphrase at the end of these videos, like keep grinding or I, I don't know what, but without it, these endings sometimes feel really out of...